Hey guys, it's Becky. If you're new here, then welcome. And if you're already subscribed, thanks for coming back. Um, today I'm doing a video uh, about my planner lineup for quarter two. I know it's a bit late because we're on the 18th of April. April got away with me. Um, I've said it in other videos, just with the kids being off school and things like that. But I wanted to do this video because I wanted to talk about the fact that we all, I'm going to say we, because I know you've probably done it as well, we get to a point in the year, this year has been weird for everyone I feel, but we get to a point like at the beginning of the year when we've bought all our planners and we're, you know, we've done all the work, we've figured out what we want to use for what, and then we get to that point where we, it doesn't work, it's not working, and we're like, it's, it's the planner, like the planners aren't working, why aren't the planners working? We blame the planning system, when actually it's not, there's nothing wrong with the planning, with the planners, it's the system and, and you not implementing the, the system that you put in place. So rather than buying a load of new planners, which I really wanted to do, I was just finding in my um, previous, my previous strategy, this is what I mean, like I did a video on this and it was about me picking my 2023 planners, now I did a list of all the things that I want to plan, now none of these things have changed, like I still want to plan all of these things and and then the, I colour coordinate, colour colour, colour coordinated them to a different planner and then pretty early on I realised I didn't like the B6 Sterling ink planner and I crossed off the Hobonichi Cousin because I was using the Sterling ink um, and for some reason like this is the first year I've been addicted to my Hobonichi Cousin, I absolutely love it. The um, I don't want to slag any planners off or anything like that, but for me personally, the Sterling Ink Planner, the quality wasn't up there. I knew after I set it up that it wasn't going to last the year, and because I had my doubts, because I know I put a lot of stuff in my stalogies, in my like commonplace books if you like, I put a lot of stuff in there and I knew early on it wasn't going to hold up, so I quickly changed that. Another thing that I realised as well was... I didn't do a Hobonichi order this, this for this year. That was my biggest mistake. From there, I I was just messed up. Like, nothing that I thought of was going to work because it just, like, I don't know. For some reason, because I didn't buy them, I wanted them. And I think maybe that's why, like, the cousins work in so well. But I digress. So all of these things are still the same. My planners haven't changed, apart from the size. So I'm still using Nostalgy, but it's an A6 Nostalgy instead of a standard. That's purely because I haven't got enough to... I haven't got enough to finish the page like a lot of my days are like this uh they're that small so and because I use my cousin as well that's just like I've changed the size of that um I also started off with two Hobonichi weeks um and I've done that every year and I've come to realize I don't need to all the information these books hold a lot of information but my point is what we want to plan doesn't change it's not going to change it might change as your life changes like my main focus goals that i thought i was going to be focusing on at the beginning of the year actually aren't even the things i'm focusing on i didn't put medication as one of my main goals for the year i think because in my head i downgraded it and said oh i can come off my meds anytime huh. boy was i wrong medication is a big thing and it affects every single day of your life mental health medications because the withdrawal process and the side effects of coming off mental health medications are horrific and it just seems so bizarre to me how they're the medications that are meant to make you better and yet when you come off them oh you have to be in a good place to be able to do that uh, that wasn't a op that wasn't massively up there it was always in the back and i didn't prioritize the house massively i had it as a goal that i wanted to declutter here and there and you know make it more homely but at the minute that's all i'm focused on in my head i want to get the house homely and i want to come off my medication coming off my medication is more of a long term like thing and the house is something that i want to start doing immediately because happy home happy mind to me clean home clean mind so before i focus on overwhelming myself with going back to slim when i did slimming well this i'm going on tangent a bit but you know if you know me that's what i do when i do slimming world or any kind of weight loss I become obsessed with food, obsessed with it. And the thought of calorie counting at a deficit and having to weigh every little bit of food would just be an obsession that I'm, I don't want to deal with right now. I'm, I'm quite happy, just I am losing weight slowly. I'm changing what I eat. I'm eating less junk food. I'm moving more. Um, I'm not moving to the 
how much I want to, but I'm getting there. So my goals are different, which also affects what what you're planning. So because one of the weeks was purely about losing weight and, and all that kind of stuff, that, that's easy for me to put aside now. So yeah, my point is our plans don't really change. Our goals might and our lifestyle might, but the things that you want to plan don't necessarily always change. So instead of going out and buying all new planners and Believe me, guys, I, I know the I know the struggle is hard. If you want to, do you. Go out, buy all the planners. I've been there a couple of years ago. I was like, this is the year of using all the planners. And I think about I did about 10 setups in planners come February because I was buying the Wonderland B6, Wonderland A6. A6 wasn't working. It was just a, a massive... I've been on a roller coaster of planning, guys. So I do think I've got a little bit of experience in planning. Uh, but by God no means have I got like loads of experience with planning because everyone's plans are different so what I'm going to focus on first is my home and cheap weeks um I've been round and round in circles with these two planners um the pink one is housed in this gorgeous stone filofax wallet uh, this is actually a ring planner it comes with um ah, it comes with rings that go in there and um yeah, so you can remove the rings and what I want to do with this cover what I think I'm going to do is uh, turn it into cash envelope system I want to give that a go but at the minute it's just housing this week's and I'm not going to be using um, this week's anymore I'm going to transfer everything into this one and guys saying about buying new planners and do you know what I probably I really want to buy an April start week because I'm like if I'm starting afresh I want to start afresh in a brand new planner but then I'm like Becky no don't do that because you don't need to buy it and you can just start afresh and it shows progression like I've learned to look at these planners now as what works what doesn't work and and progression so I'm, I'm kind of happy to just carry on in this one and have this a true form of my year so in here like I said originally I was going to use it as um, a weight loss planner but I didn't I've come back in and done these after the fact because I wanted to to try out some layouts uh, so here's where I started in it I thought oh I'll just write down a little like highlight of the day just to use it because I hadn't started slimming World yet and I did like a little meal plan and I carried on doing that and then I was like but I'm doing journaling in my home and each cousin so I don't need to put it in here and then I was like well what can I use this planner for and I came up with the idea of using it as like a mental health like medication come off kind of planner so I was putting like anything that was wrong whether it was my back a headache any symptoms from medication side effects anything like that I was tracking mood anxiety pain sleep which I still want to carry on tracking uh, my the goal aspect that relates to my mental health so my morning routines my evening routines my planning routines uh, cleaning washing home decoration like any uh, not home decoration really anything mental health wise I wanted to track on the side here as well and like this worked amazing for that and I thought yeah that's brilliant I can I can carry on doing that and that's what this planner is going to be used for then comes in this Hobonichi Weeks I adore this Hobonichi Weeks um, I like it more than the pink one I'm not gonna lie I love the cover it's a Motum veg tan cover um, I love the little setup that I've done um, I love it all and I had used this um, from the very beginning I will go into what I'm going to use the yearly overview on after but um, I've used this as a forward planner uh, the only one thing that I want to do different from now on is to set up a few months in advance so I can use it as a planner but I'm not shy on sticking a, a little sticky note down there um, a sticky note for um, for future plans I'll just stick it on there and then the weekly is I have used this um from the beginning from January and I've used it in pretty much the same way I'll put reoccurring tasks down the side I do plan in nostalgia but I don't forward plan in nostalgia because um I set up week by week so I like to have the forward plan sometimes I cancel PE so I I won't write it on and so this is like a um confirmed overlook of my week so I have my appointments there what I was doing is I was writing down a list of tasks here and then I was migrating the tasks that I wanted because this is a weekly running task list and I was migrating the tasks that I wanted to do on the dailies that didn't work however what was happening was I was doing the tasks 
writing them down in my nostalgia, then at the end of the day coming back to this and filling it in. That, in my eyes, is not a functional planner. It's not functionally working for me. So I had to try and come up with a way. You can see they're all pretty much set up the same. I've got filming lists, some form of trackers, some form of, like, to-do list. What I've decided to do in this planner now is... Uh, see, I back-planned a couple of weeks as memory planning. Um, yeah, so what I plan to do in this planner here, as I'll just use this page as an example, I'm going to amalgamate together the pink weeks and the brown weeks. One thing I do want to say, in fact, before we go on to that, is I needed to have one place to have a running to-do list because writing things down in Nostalgy, writing things down in The Cousin and writing things down on here, I'm going to miss something and I have missed stuff and I've like put something down and not done it because I'm not referring to this so this is part of my planning routine and I am going to do a separate video on like my weekly planning routine monthly daily all of that so I can get nitty-gritty with you how it's working but I've decided that the weeks this part this is um loosely based on the getting things done method so I write down what it is and then I break it down to whether it's a task it needs to go on the calendar whether it's to do with YouTube because I put a lot of like what I need to film on here um, anything I'm waiting on I, I don't really use I use that for orders that don't pertain to planning things or whether I'm waiting on Chris doing something like just say I've asked him to get something or do something like he needs to book as a gym induction at camp I'm waiting on him doing that so if I put it on waiting on I can keep checking with him then we've got projects errands and reference so a project is something that's like loads of steps long and then what I've done after that is I've got like a little project uh, index here and it will reference um, where I've put it in the planner um, it will reference like this says page 10 number two so this is page 10 and that's number two this says page 10 number 12 page 10 number 12 it just so I can easily go back to there and cross it off um, so I check my um, I check my running to-do list here and my project list I do that daily I check my calendar I check my project list I check my to-do list if I've wrote something down in my nostalgia or anywhere in my phone anywhere I'll come back at the end of the day and I'll make sure that this is the most up-to-date list and I've decided to just cross out what I've done um, it's not for pretty it's for functionality and this is a way that I've got everything all in one place here. Now, what I will do on these pages is I will still stick to the uh, reoccurring tasks on the side here. Now, I needed somewhere to put the information, so the symptoms, the medication. What I'm gonna do, and I think I've done it, yeah. So here, where I've done a line down there, I will write in anything to do with my medication. I'm only coming off one medication at a time, because obviously that's the sensible thing to do. So I've come off diazepam, I use that only as PRN, and I've gone from two Zoppoclone to one Zoppoclone to now zero Zoppoclone, and I'll write them in there. Um, and then I'll write any symptoms or anything like that in this section here. Because I don't need to take tasks from here or from the back to put in here, because those tasks are going to put, be put in my salary. That's that's my day-to-day -day planner. This is like a weekly kind of overview planner. This um, tracker I do want to keep in here, but that's also in because again, this is a weekly planner. I might not open this every single day. I'll, I will. I'll have to to make sure that I'm putting the information in here, and I'll have to to make sure I set up the week and my daily. So. Any goal orientated things are going to go in here. So rather than me just writing AM routine, I'm going to list out my AM routine because I don't necessarily do everything in my like one morning I might not make my bed and I'm like, well, you know, I'm ticking, I've done my AM routine, but I haven't really. So what I want to do is write down my AM routine, write down my PM routine, write down my planning routine, write down what exercise I want to do, the fact that I want to film, clean, read. These are all goals. So anything that's goal orientated will go in this planner and I'll track it. Tasks don't need to go in here anymore. Just goal related things. So I'll have a tracker, I'll have my goals and I will be able to write any notes for the next week if I have them. Uh, and I think that's pretty much water tracker I want to put in here. So I'm, I'm amalgamating both planners together because this will be full. This will have a lot of information in it and it will be really, really useful. 
uh, for the um, yearly overview, um, basically what I'm going to do is I'm, I want to track my periods for one because I think I'm premenopausal. I'm 40 and I think I'm premenopausal, so I want to track my periods. I think I put a post it note in this one, which I want to move across to this one right when i do a video go into more depth on my weekly plan with me i will go into um, more depth on the 12 week year and how we get a weekly score so you get a percentage basically of what you've managed to achieve in your goals uh, and then i want to write the weekly score on here um, i also want to do a weekly weigh-in so i was thinking i'll do my um weekly score on a Sunday because that's the end of the week oh in fact yeah I'll put it in on the Sunday but I'll do it on the Monday and then I'll do a weekly weigh-in as well I'm going to do my measurements at the top and I'm going to just highlight the numbers of when I'm on my period so this will have like weight data period data um and like my, my goal progress data will all be on this spread here so I'm hoping that that makes sense and I've not gone too quick for everyone so this section is going to be my reoccurring tasks appointments things that i need to remember this side of the uh, page will be to do with uh, medication symptoms pain symptoms um a medication what i'm taking anything to do with like mental health kind of stuff will go in this section here my running task list will go in the back on my running task list and this is what i use then to transfer to my strategy or i'll just pick tasks i don't pre-plan my tasks i do it on a day-to-day -day basis i don't sit there at the beginning of the week and say right on monday i'm going to do this on tuesday i know roughly like my filming schedule and things like that but task wise sometimes i might randomly go because there's phone you know when you ring someone and you know it's not going to be as simple as just ringing someone and talking to them for two minutes to change something it's going to be a whole three hour on hold situation sometimes i'll come in and i'll go okay i can do that phone call now or you know i can do this now so i, I plan my days on a daily basis not a weekly basis so i'll take tasks from here and they'll go in my strategy or i'll take tasks from my project and they'll go in my strategy as well so this is the one place that will hold my running to-do list and it's also broken down into what steps need to be taken next if it's a calendar it will go in my calendar in here if it's a waiting on um it's a waiting on if it's a project i'll write it on the project list and then i further break down each project as well um if it's an errand i will dot errands none of them are oh casey's school drum proud to get from town and that is dotted so i haven't got any errands that's good for if you know you're going out um because i'm doing that home project of decorating i know that i'm going to be wanting to buy paint and shelves and um adhesive wrap and stuff like that so there'll be more errands and i'll just continue that on and then i know i've got one place to come for my tasks and then this side i do like tracking my mood uh, my anxiety my pain and my sleep um, i like to see it in a graph format like this this will be a breakdown complete of my goals and that's it for this planner it it's going to be functional i will still decorate it so i'll come in and decorate it with you guys i mean i'm behind massively now uh, i think we're on the well we're on the um 18 so i need to do i have got this information um here in my strategy it's not meant to be there but because i wanted to do a plan with me in this i've just put it in there for this week but i wanted to go through how i'm going to be using the planners before i did a plan with me if that makes sense so yeah i'm really looking forward to it i mean i love the way that this is set up i do like the planner um and i like the fact that i have used it it's only been well this was like a test spread so was that that I actually used, that I actually used, and then these I haven't used. But I've still got the rest of the year to use this, so it will fill up. Just because I've missed a couple of weeks, it doesn't mean that I have to buy a new planner, which is what is going around around in my head. You need to buy a spring start, you need to buy a spring start. The whole reason I bought a January start is because I wanted the whole year in one planner. And like I said earlier, it's, it's good to see your changes and it's good to use the planner and then go this isn't working like this isn't i'm not I, I wasn't going in this pink weeks at all and then i wasn't opening this at all because i didn't know how to use them properly together and now i've come up with that system i know that i can have this and this open together on my desk and it takes a really small 
amount of space compared to if I was to have my cousin open you know this it just takes less space than having both of those open so I know that I can use these both of these on a daily basis easy so I hope that explains those and I am really sad that I'm not going to be using a planner but like I said I've got a purpose to use the um the cover for and so it is what it is really with the planner we live and learn but this one I am going to carry on using and I'm really excited about that so next up we'll do my stalogy uh, my stalogy is set up there is a setup video a uh, recent one on my channel for this planner it's a really basic basic setup in regards to what I needed to have in here. Um, this is, I put a yearly overview in all my planners. I just like to have them. I can highlight holidays and things like that, school holidays in here. Because if I want to plan, like go out and plan or anything like that, it's probably going to be in this planner. So, you know, having holidays and information in here is a good idea this i need to uh, go in and write birthdays so i want a birthday tracker in there this is just a reminder of what i do on a monthly reset so i've got that in there this is blank for uh, notes um i have put uh, the i have put 12 the rest of the year um calendars in here to write um appointments and things like that i know it's in my other weeks but like i said if i'm out and about and i take this one um it's nice to have them and that's you know, I don't mind that. I've already set all the months up. It doesn't. It's no hardship to um, to come back in and fill them up. I've also got my YouTube uh, planner in here. This has worked for me over the. It's at right at the beginning of Stalogy when I had a B6. So I need some water. Absolutely love this this mug, guys. I know you can get dupes of it, but I got the original from Stanley and then shipped it from my stackery and. It, it, it my stackery was no more in fact it had to ship as a parcel and not a letter uh, not a large letter because normally it's just stickers and stuff so it's a large letter but this had to come as a parcel because it's like big and the parcel price was actually cheaper than norm my normal package price and it came quicker as well so <laughs> i want to test out my theory and buy something else big but these cups love it absolutely love it um yeah I have done this the same from way back when, when I first had a salary. I plan in here my, um, in pencil I put what I want to film and then I go ahead and I put in pen what I've actually filmed. I've got a little running list there of stuff that I want to film and then I've also got this sticky note where I'm checking off each time, um, each time I go on Instagram because I'm trying to do a bit more on my Instagram at the minute so yeah that's all YouTube check in and then I've got um, my YouTube stats and some YouTube ideas and then the monthly I always start off with a big calendar at the beginning of the month because this is for highlights because I like to come in at the end of the month and do a sticker a day and highlight in my cousin which I'll get to so this is for highlights and then I set it up um, again, you've seen how I set up my challenges. I've done a plan with me on this. Like I said, this won't always be there necessarily because it's just I hadn't like set, hadn't done this video and I wasn't using the other planner, so I just put it in there. Um, and then I literally just rapid log what I do in the day on here, which is easy peasy. Right, um, I write things that I need to remember at the top and then I'll rapid log and that's how it's going to be and then I will do my monthly resets in here my goal videos so they'll be coming soon um, I know a few of you have asked for me to do a monthly reset I have done a couple on my channel but I am going to be doing a more up-to-date one I say more up-to-date it's the same thing um, but yeah so this is just rapid login and then obviously you can set up the week in here and then if I need to make lists or anything like that I can just literally go to a page, write the list, write the list, and then I'll set up the next week. And it's just, yeah, that's just, I like having the ability to do that. And like I said, having this open on my desk, um, it doesn't take a lot of space at all. So that is my strategy, and I'm really happy with the size now with that being A6. I've always wanted to get into A6 planning, and I've never been able to because, I don't know, the size just wasn't working for me. Um, I've done a flip of the Hobonichi Cousin on my channel as well. Um, 
go and watch that because it is a detailed flip through of this planner but as an overall um how i'll be using this planner is I've, again i've got a monthly overview with the holidays there um, i'm not really using these pages here and i don't know what i'm going to use them for i was thinking maybe an exercise log i was also thinking you know because I do want one planner to hold all the information, I was thinking of taking the information from the weeks and putting it in here. have used it as an index. I have used it as a mood tracker. Um, yeah, it's just... it. Yeah, it's... I think it would look really cool to do the sleep, pain and medication that way. That's what I... That would be cool. So I could come in after the fact and just copy that. But yeah, I'm not fussed about it. If I use it, I use it. If I don't, I don't. Uh, my monthlies are meant to be a sticker a day. I haven't done. I've wrote in the um, I've wrote in the highlights, but I haven't come in and done the stickers, which I will do. And then I'm going to do the next plan with me, with you in there. So these are for highlights. And then my weekly pages are memory planning. So I just come in after the fact and I memory plan. The one thing I did different this week is I did also put that tracker. I'm just loving that tracker. I'm putting it everywhere. I put that there and I put my meal plan there just as memories really so I can look back and see. Um, so on Monday I was at the doctor's with an ear infection and I know pain is blue. And my pain was like level six on Monday. So, you know, you can kind of like see what's happening while, while you're having a bad day. Uh, Saturday, I had a migraine. Saturday, pain was up there again. So, yeah, I like having um, just a monthly, a weekly overview of memories. And then, as you've seen, the back is for journaling. I do do a running time list of of what I've done that day, I get that information from my salary again and put it in here. I don't have to, I just like it, I like the way it looks. And I could also, what I did in previous years, is I had like the running to do, the running um, time tracker there and a to-do list and then journaling. I mean, this is just purely memory keeping this cousin and I'm absolutely loving it. I write in it every single day, I keep it up to date and I look forward to planning my weeklies, which I need to do a weekly plan with me this week for you guys. So that's it, guys. That is how I'm going to be using these three planners. Like, I've never had just three planners. I've always had more, but I don't need more. Like, this information could go in there, like on the daily page. And this is, um, this is good for notes for what I said being able to just go in and I call it my messy planner because I just like I met I scribble down things in here and it is functional for like YouTube planning and stuff like that um but could it all go in the Hobie everything all of this could go in the Hobie Nietzsche cousin but I like having the three separate because like I said this is smaller than that to have out open so that's it guys, that is me making my planners work for me rather than me going out and buying new planners which I was so close to doing by the way. At first I was like, right I can put all this in the cousin but I want to keep this cousin like this so I do I buy a spring start cousin? And I was like, whoa, hold your horses Becky, you don't need a spring start cousin, that'd be crazy. Um, then I was like, do I need a new weeks? And I'm not saying I won't buy weeks because you know, it's me. I'm not buying a weeks, don't let me buy a weeks. <sighs> Yeah, that's it guys, that is me making my planners work for me and not buying more planners and I hope that you can take something from this, like if you haven't done that, uh, what I showed you, I can't I'll find it again, if you haven't done that like setting up your planners thing um, that I showed you, I can't find it again, um, where you write down everything that you want to plan, I think it was more like September time I did it or before September. Because, you know, come September, everyone's like, oh, my my new planners. I need to I need to pick my new planners in July of the, the previous year. Yeah, write down a list of everything that you want to plan and write down a list of your planners and then link them together. That's the easiest thing I found to decide on how to use the planner and what works and what doesn't work. So that's it guys for today that is this video um, I hope it's helped some of you if it has then give me a like give me a thumbs up share if you're not already a subscriber I'd love for you to join the family Lamb. it means a lot to me um, it shows you that what I'm producing uh, you're liking so yeah that would be great and I'll see you in my next video guys bye